Look, for the longest time, us Torterra believers have been living in poverty. But the time has finally come in the new Teal Mask DLC. They have buffed our dude Torterra with some new moves and access to a whole bunch of new stuff. And we are out here eating good. Listen, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, what are you waiting for? Hit that sub button. It's free. It only takes you a second. And it would really help out the channel. And I appreciate you. Let's get into the match. All right, so my opponent is going to lead off with a little piece of sushi as I decide to toss out the absolute massive cinder block wielding clown monster. And Conkelder pretty much scares their entire team. I would like to get a knockoff uh, and just kind of see what they want to go for here. So it turns out Tatsugiri is going to go just right for the hydro pump. And of course, they don't call it hydro miss for nothing. It does miss there and allows me to go for the knockoff. Getting rid of this thing's choice scarf. So it tells me a little bit about... You know what this what the vibes are looking like on this uh, on this sushi fella and at this point it's actually in range for the mock punch especially after I get the guts ability a mock punch is just gonna finish that thing off and they don't have a whole lot of switches uh, into the conkelder there but on the free switch they do at least have an answer in the form of a very scary Pokemon I like to call Halucha now this thing is extremely scary because there's a couple different things this thing can do it can set up with swords dances um, it can get its unburdened boost by using an item, and I am afraid of this Pokemon. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to end up going into Roger. The Monkadori is basically kind of just a, a, a hard switch into a death here. I really just need to be able to get in my Golem for free. Uh, as we're going to see this thing go for the Sky Attack. So ordinarily, a two-turn move, this thing is going to actually pop uh, its item, which is going to be that Power Herb, which allows it to basically use that move in one turn. And literally, by the grace of God, somehow Monkey Dory lives that shit with 1 HP. I swear, I don't know what I've been feeding this Monkey Dory, but it's just out here living stuff that it's really not supposed to live. So, that was kind of crazy. I just sent this thing in for a sack switch anyway, uh, as now it does go down. But what that does do is opens up the door for the absolute legend of the channel, the Donut. Now, this is a Pokemon I wanted to be able to... I uh, get this thing in for free as an easy switch because I know with the Focus Sash, obviously I can take a high jump kick from this thing and then I can actually just kill it with a counter. And then you kind of know what happens next with the Alolan Golem. So, uh, they do go for that high jump kick. I actually am able to live it. And of course, with that amount of damage, the counter absolutely destroys the Halucha. And an unburdened boosted Halucha is a very scary Pokemon to deal with. So that thing being gone is amazing. And now they get a free switch into the Alolan Muck. So... What's unfortunate here is, so I'm actually Custat Berry Explosion, knowing that I'm actually going to go first, but I also know that this thing does have access to priority uh, with the Shadow Sneak. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that Custat Berry, going to allow me to move first. Psych bitch, he does go first with that Shadow Sneak, but Alolan Golem is the GOAT. I live it with 4 HP. It activates its Poison Touch ability, which literally does not matter because I'm about to go Big Boom, and an Explosion is going to do a lot to whatever. So... Golem definitely does not want to be taking this, as it actually ends up living it with just a sliver of HP, which uh, honestly is kind of fine. Golem did exactly what I needed to do. I wasn't able to quite set up Stealth Rock in this match. Uh, however, taking care of the biggest threat on the team, like the Halucha, and also whittling down the, the muck is amazing. But now it's absolutely time, boys. The Grass Doyce is coming in, and we are ready to start tearing some shit up. Looking at the remainder of their team, I'm feeling pretty confident that if I can get a Shell Smash, Torterra can start to go off here and might just win me the match. So I know that I can take an attack that the Muck wants to throw at me. So I'm going to go for that Shell Smash right off the bat here. It does lower my defenses, but uh, a neutral Poison Jab, I should be fine. So I dropped those, dropped those stats, but in the process, we're actually going to also boost the attack and our speed. So now I'm looking like I'm faster than their entire team. And with my loaded dice, I'm positioned pretty well. So they go for that Poison Jab. Unfortunately for them, not going to get the Poison Touch. But uh, seeing as it does a round half to me... Uh, Toterra still has the longevity even with a, a regular poison. So they're going to go for one last ditch effort on the Shadow Sneak, get a little bit more chip damage, roll for another poison touch. Unfortunately, they do not get it. And I just throw a nice little boulder into this thing's mouth to knock it out. So uh, the muck goes down, and now Toterra is literally about to go on a tear. Literally. I got the tree looking healthy on my back, and the vibes are at an all time high. As they're going to go into the Haxorus. Now, what's interesting about Haxorus is that if this thing is running max speed, it's actually still a little bit slower than Torterra after a Shell Smash, which is absolutely amazing. So what I can do here is go for that nice little stab headlong rush, and after the Shell Smash, there is not a Haxorus that's going to be able to take that. So that ends up knocking out the spookiest looking dragon of all time, and Torterra is losing all sorts of defense, but it does not matter when you're the fastest turtle in the fucking race, boys. Slow and steady is not this Torterra's game, I'll tell you what. So... Now they end up going into the Sandaconda is going to be their defensive wall, but of course we do have access to the Bullet Seed. 
Um, and with that loaded dice guarantees at least four hits and all we're gonna actually need is gonna be four with that attack boost we don't care how defensive your snack is and uh, <laughs> four bullet seeds are gonna be able to uh, take care of this anaconda so a well positioned Torterra is extremely fun to play with because it's great to see this as an actual sweeper mon finally Game Freak has given us justice for our forgotten Sinnoh starter seriously even even Empoleon got a nice little buff it, it was always Infernate by himself being good, but now this thing is super nice with the loaded dice and the shell smash So their final Pokemon is going to be the Electros and we're just gonna go again for a nice little stab bullet seed We don't even need to roll the dice baby that shit is loaded and uh, again four hits is gonna be able to Knock this thing out. So that was a quick match I just kind of wanted to showcase how Torterra can definitely it can put a dent in some teams these days and be pretty fun in the process so Again, super short match, but if you guys enjoyed, I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like on the video and uh, show some love for our dude Torterra because uh, we love him. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.